Father John Baer is currently the director of the Masters of Theology program, as well as the Father George Florovsky Distinguished Professor of Patristics at St. Vladimir's Seminary in New York. He is also Distinguished Professor of Patristics at Fordham University. Father John visited the area recently and kindly agreed to sit down uh, for an interview. So I hope you'll enjoy this episode from my interview with Father John Baer. I think the main thing that I would say to somebody who's interested in becoming Orthodox is come to church. Come to church with um, open eyes and open ears, open heart and open mind. And really pay attention to everything. Let it all sink in. Let it all seep in. Um, I'm assuming that somebody who's coming to church will be struggling to live a Christian life already, that they will be moved in these kind of ways. They should um, talk with the priest, they should start reading in various ways, but above all, start reading the scriptures and start hearing the scriptures in the light of what you're hearing in church through the hymnography, through the iconography, through the rituals, so that you start to see how the, the fabric of the church is put together out of all of this scriptural material in all these ways proclaiming Christ presenting Christ to us, enabling Christ to dwell in us. I think only if we approach the Orthodox Church, enter into the Orthodox Church in that way, will we really actually encounter the Orthodox Church, not simply as a gathering of people who happen to like doing the same kind of thing, or uh, agency for social work or whatever other thing we think might need doing obviously charitable work we have to be doing all the time but we'll actually come to encounter the church as the new Jerusalem as the heavenly mother the one who in whom in whose womb we are born again in Christ and Christ is born in us us and that reality is simply beyond anything so be prepared for that as you do that as I said don't leave your heart, and especially don't leave your mind at the door. Pay attention to what is being given to you. So, be there for the services. Um, hear that material, be there for the liturgy, start to understand what all of that's about, and then, as you start to get a sense of that, then one takes it a further step. Um, you need to start understanding something about the history of Orthodox Christianity as it's been embodied throughout countless generations for two millennia or more now. You need to learn to enter into the ryth rhythm of prayer of the Orthodox Church. How to say daily prayers, not just um, as expressions coming out of our anguish or coming out of our love for others and interceding to God on their behalf. All of the things are important as cries of our spirit towards God. But from the beginning, God has also put words into our mouths to pray. Obviously the Psalms and Christ himself gives us the Lord's Prayer. Well, the Orthodox tradition, Church now has 2,000 years of experience of using these kind of prayers and has developed f formal prayers for the morning, for the evening, for the middle of the night. So start to come to know those prayers and let them become parts of the rhythm of your life. You should also um, find time for silence. You've been given a lot of these different nourishments from all these different sides. Reading scripture, hearing the service of the church, encountering Christ in all of that, um, your own daily prayer cycle, your own struggle to be a better person, to be more charitable towards your neighbours, all these kind of things. But it also needs to be a place of silence in your life, whether it's two minutes a day, five minutes a day, ten minutes twice a day, something regular where you are forced to sit down, be quiet, stop thinking, try and hold your mind. Don't let your mind wander. Um, 
our mind, when you think about it, our mind is almost everywhere else in when, where we are. You know, we stand in church and our mind's on what I've got to do when I finished or something that happened to me the day before. Well, we need to learn to let our minds be present where we are. St. John Climacus, he described, he gave a really fascinating definition of the hesychast. The hesychast um, refers to those who in orthodox monasticism specialized in saying the Jesus prayer, going into retreat, going into solitude and so on. But he turns it around and he actually says the true hesychast is one who strives to enshrine what is bodiless within the body. One who strives to enshrine what is bodiless within the body. In other words, to be a true Hesketh, you don't have to go out to the remote regions of the world and live in a cave. You actually need to bring your mind back to your body. If Christ came to make himself known in the flesh, if he worked our salvation in the flesh, well, we should at least try and make sure that our minds are also in our flesh. And that means putting them back, not thinking about yesterday, not thinking about tomorrow, not thinking about this, that or the other, but putting them back to where we are so that with all the nourishment that we are being given in the church, we may actually digest it, um, learn to internalize it, be present with it, and through that also come to know Christ with it. And then the final thing I would say, <coughs> I think, is that it's really important that you have a personal connection within the church. Whether it's a person you're standing next to in the church, your priest, your bishop, all of these are important, but there really has to be somebody who is leading you in to the church and helping you to come to know personally what it is to be in the church. So, being present, being prayerful, and being present with somebody else in the church. I think those are the three things that I'd say were most important for anybody who wants to step into the church and come to know more about it. Hi again. Hope you enjoyed this episode from my interview with Father John Baer. Please subscribe below to get notified when new videos become available, which happens every Friday. And if you would, please leave a comment below letting me know what you thought of this video. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week.